Hello everyone, it's Deli here from my belly and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Orphanage Challenge. So in the last part, we were on holiday and we're back. It's Monday, it's 10 a.m. Little Nicholas is already at school. He's working hard. He's still in his summer clothes, which is really, really cute. And uh, for him to finish his aspiration, he's just gonna get that A. And we have done his homework. We've also done his extra credit projects, extra credit work. So there is absolutely no reason why he should not get that A today. And if he doesn't, it's my game is glitched or the wishing well did that. And I don't think that's fair. So I think today he should complete his aspiration, whether it allows him to or not. And Missy, where are you? Missy just completed an artifact, I think. Let's just check it up over here. Ooh, okay. Turquoise man. Uh, so let's mail back that artifact. This is a really good way for us to be making money because she's got level 10 artifact skill or not artifact skill what's the skill called for jungle adventure it's like called archaeology not artifact skill archaeology skill um also satin completed her aspiration which is very very cool um so she's not going to school what we actually want her to do is head to the alien planet because she also finished installing the wormhole generator in her spaceship so we're gonna go to space um because why not? <laughs> so let's go explore space. And we also want to see if there's someone who can adopt her. Otherwise, alternatively, we could just age her up into a young adult and get her to move in with a y another young adult. I thought that would be kind of cool. And then for Arlo, Arlo over here, he uh, he needs to go visit the wishing well again. So, you know, it's all happening. We're probably very close to... I wonder if we make multiple offerings, if that helps. Like if we do two in a row. Um... We want him to come back to life. It's all happening. I think this challenge is going to be finished pretty soon, actually. And then Zia needs to clog another drain in a different home. I did a little bit of that off camera. And she also needs to achieve level 10 mischief skill. And I'm finding it so hard for her to finish that mischief skill. Like, she just does not want to read the books. <sighs> But I'll get her to, oh, reread it? She's already read volume three. Why is it taking her so long to skill build? I wonder if we should get Missy to like give her a skill building potion or something. Is there inspired, is there confident, focused? What if focus will bring up the skill? I don't know, it's just, it's really hard to know, you know? Wait, did we already take, oh, wow. Did Saturn already take off? Not quite yet. Saturn. Oh, she's still asleep. I was like, Saturn, you gotta take off. <laughs> uh, okay, so Arlo, I think he, did he give the wishing well? We, what a highly generous offering. I'm gonna give one more offering. So we've given this well $15,000 and then we're gonna wish for life. Okay, Saturn's Hello. off in the spaceship. Goodbye. Have fun. Wait. I didn't do it right, did I? Did I even tell her to go to the planet? No, come back. <laughs> I did it wrong, I did it wrong, I did it wrong, I did it wrong, I think. I don't know, I can't remember what I selected. Travel through what? Travel through the wormhole. That's what I want you to do, Saturn. I don't know if I actually selected that. Okay, Arlo, make a wish, wish for life. It only costs one dollar. Okay, bye Saturn, have the best time while away. Well, we're gonna go with her in just a second. We've already made the offering, so I feel like we need to make the offering right now. The ship hurtles through the wormhole and emerges near an alien planet. A series of odd noises comes from the on-ship radio and Saturn is suddenly teleported off a ship. Okay, we didn't quite get to make the wish just then. <gasps> this is exciting. Saturn with her own people once again. Hey! Welcome to home, the alien world. So cool, I love these secret worlds and I love the sound effects. Sounds so cool. All right, well, while we're here, uh, let's get Saturn to collect a couple of things. I mean, we may as well. I wish she could just live here and not have to come back home to Earth. That would be really, really cool if she could just move here. But I don't believe we can do that, unfortunately. All the cool, like, mushies. I want to go to a planet like this. It would be so cool. Damn, we're going to make so much money. Missy would be so excited by all of these archaeological findings. Well, these, like, rock findings. Does archaeology apply to only historic things, or does it apply to futuristic things? Let's 
collect a micro sample of that. What is this? Ooh, we can grab a bit of that as well. Let's just grab everything we possibly can because I feel like Saturn would love to collect things. Ooh, um, for all of her, all of her brothers and sisters, the other orphans. Oh, look at all of this light. Like, looks so freaking cool. We just want to collect everything and not miss anything. Oh my gosh, did I just do a full circle? Wait, is this where we came in? I think so. Uh, oh, there's so much stuff to find. Even if we don't find an alien, we are busy right now. We got so many things. Okay, so we've got that, got that. Where have we not been yet? Ooh, I wish we could go swimming here. <laughs> That would be fun. Let's collect a sample of that, collect a sample of this. Maybe the reason why the aliens don't spawn is because it wants to give you time to have a look around and get all of these rocks. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Aspiration completed. He finally did get an A. The game wasn't glitched out. It just took us a really long time. And he's achieved his childhood dream of becoming a brilliant child. He's earned the mentally gifted trait, which builds the mental skills faster. That is so cool. So Nicholas can finally be aged up when we get home and also be adopted. Oh, and we found an alien. Oh my gosh. Yay. Let's do a friendly introduction. Actually, can we do an alien introduction? Not yet. Wow. That's a cool looking alien. She got a cool hat on. She probably got that from Earth. It doesn't really know what it's used for. So this is Venus. It's Venus and Saturn. How old are you? Young adult. You guys, we could age up Saturn and, and, and then Saturn and Venus could be house. No, she's gone. No, we missed the alien. I want to be friends with Venus. Damn it. We were too busy collecting all of our space rocks. How much are these? They're not even like worth much money. Like we travel all the way to space. It's worth like a hundred bucks. That's real disappointing. I just want to find Venus again. She was so much fun. Why did the aliens all go? Why does no one want to be here with us? Okay, I think they kind of need to fix the spawn rate for aliens in this world because there's like no one who comes here. Maybe they wanted it to feel like it was in the middle of no man's land, but at the same time, I came here to meet some aliens, so can we like have some? I mean, at least we can collect some of these. Hello, is anybody out there? I wanna make an alien friend, please. Damn it, why did we have to collect stuff when Venus spawned? I was so sad. Okay, I'm slightly concerned because we've been here for so long, we're about to we're about to pee our pants. So <laughs> unless an alien spawns again real quick, uh we're probably gonna have to go home soon. This is so disappointing. <laughs> She spawns again! Friendly introduction! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Hey! Hi! Share astro astronomy, astronomy knowledge? Do a secret handshake? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Oh! Oh, we're gonna share astronomy knowledge by lying down and looking at the stars in actual space. That's so cool! Oh my gosh! Look at all the stars. Maybe we should actually put Saturn into her disguise. Uh, how do we remove disguise? Sorry, not put her in disguise, turn into her actual alien form because we never have her in her alien form and she can actually feel like comfortable enough to be an alien because she's in space, she's at home, she's with her people. So this is really exciting. Oh no, 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 Saturn, no. Oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. Oh no. Okay, definitely remove that disguise and pretend to be someone else because, oh my gosh. The first time we talk to this lady and we pee ourselves, we'll just be like, <laughs> that's uh, totally what all humans do. They pee themselves. I'm just showing you what human life is about. She's like, <laughs> that's sure. <laughs> Share insecurities a little bit. Um, I guess we can invite her over to our house at another day. So maybe we should just say goodbye and be like, we'll visit soon or come visit us at the orphanage at some point. Okay, it's it's been real swell. 
Uh, and I want to go home. Oh, and she's a cat lover. What happens if maybe Saturn aged up and she and Venus were housemates, even lovers, and just got a house together, even just as friends on Earth? And she was like to Venus, why don't you come live on Earth for a little while with me and I'll get you a cat? Because Venus has always wanted a cat. That's a beautiful idea. Also, if you're wondering why my headset is on backwards, it's because I broke my long cable. So I have to wear it backwards. Otherwise it like chokes me. Just so you know. Okay, Saturn. Well, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, I'm sorry, but there's no toilets in space. Like what do you expect me to do? Also, I was thinking that we would get you to uh, come over here, Darcia. I want Darcia to go jogging a little bit. Um, no, it's been a bit of time since, since having the baby. I reckon she wants to drop some of the baby weight. So we'll get her to go for a bit of a jog. Oh my gosh, Nicholas. Oh, Missy like doesn't care that Nicholas is making a mess because she's so excited that there's a toddler to play with. She's like, oh yes, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Uh, I'm not sure if our $15,000 worth of offerings would have registered for this long since we went off the lot and we've come back. So now I better make one more offering. And uh, we'll also wish for life if we're feeling fine. It's green, it is green, it is green, it is green. Okay, it's not quite what Arlo wished for, but the new ingredient that popped into its existence in his inventory ought to help. With a few more ingredients and a dash of cooking skill, Arlo could whip up an ambrosia recipe. So, oh wow. What did he get? Oh my gosh. So the wishing well, even though it hasn't granted us life, it has given us a death flower, a potion of youth, and an angelfish. And those are the three ingredients that you need to make ambrosia. And what was that? Oh, there's a ghost here. Okay, hello. Um, whoa, what's in that ghost? chest wait oh that's when they've been burnt to death right yeah i think that's when they've perished um oh my gosh what are you doing zia she's like maybe i could be like a mermaid vampire <laughs> that's so funny um okay your mischief skill how do we get so you're still level seven mischief can we actually clog a drain here or do we have to be at another house let's see yeah you have to be at someone else's house to clog the drain okay i'm pretty sure if we reread a book our mischief skill level is not going to go up so we pretty much just troll forums and do mischievous interactions yeah i don't really like doing the mischief aspiration it's it's not the most fun to do missy where are you girl okay so she's sharing well there's so many things to get done like missy can make the ambrosia recipe but at the same time she probably oh my gosh and she's a hot mess as well but at the same time i feel like missy probably doesn't really want them to leave her house um and as long as as long as arlo's a ghost he can never leave but then again, she does care so much about Plum Blossom, maybe. And she does care about Darcy as well. Maybe she does want to let them go and leave the orphanage. But I feel kind of bad because Missy hasn't found true love. So I don't know what to do with Missy. I love how this random ghost is just cleaning up our house for us. <laughs> That's great. Okay, just keep trolling the forums. Just keep going, Zia. I just want you to complete your aspiration. Well, I think what we'll do is get Missy to bake a cake and maybe we should age up Saturn and Nicholas, both of them. Or maybe we should wait until tomorrow to age them up and have like a little bit of a party for them because they're probably the last two to age up. So while Missy doesn't need to sleep for a little while, we might just get her to bake the cakes now. I think for Saturn, we should do something like maybe a blue confetti cake for Saturn because blue's her favorite color. And then for Nicholas, maybe just like a nice classic chocolate cake or we could do like a gourmet cake probably. A sugar-free carob coconut cake. Maybe he's really into health now. <laughs> So Missy's gonna go ahead and do that. This house is such a mess all the time. <laughs> okay, and little Plum Blossom's in a pretty good mood. Arlo's in his tropical wear. I love how, I love how they're just wandering around in their tropical wear all the time. Talk about day a little bit. Maybe we'll put Plum Blossom to sleep for a little while. We'll read her to sleep. Zia's still trolling Teff forums. That's good. Saturn's in bed. Nicholas is reading. I mean, everyone's moods are really awesome. And Nicholas has done his homework anyway. He's such a good boy. And yeah, Darcy has seen better days. So maybe we'll just get her organized as well. 
Hello. And then Arlo can tell her the good news once she's feeling a little bit better. Oh, where did the first cake go? Hello. Did you finish the first cake? I don't know what happened to the first one. Did she put it somewhere random? Oh gosh, I have no idea where the, the first cake went. So Arlo's been reading Little Plum Blossom to sleep, which is nice. And we've got Darcia here, who's just come in to say goodnight as well. Maybe we can go and tuck in. Oh, she's already asleep. Um, and these guys can have just a little moment together, a little romantic moment. I love her combat boots, by the way. And he can tell her the amazing news. It's like, I finally am going to be able to be with you in a physical form because the well gifted me the last ingredient for Ambrosia and Missy can make it. So we can finally be together. Yay. That's he's like, are you serious? That's amazing. They can finally be together. So sweet. I'm just going to make sure we don't lose any of those ingredients. Oh, she's going straight down to Missy to ask for advice. Wow. So she's like straight away going to ask Missy if if she'll do that. And Missy's obviously checking that the other orphans are asleep, making sure that Saturn and Nicholas get enough sleep for their birthday and probably thinking that, wow, all of the orphans are going to be gone soon and her job is finished here at the orphanage. She's like, would you mind? <laughs> Don't grow up until you need to. Like, it would be amazing if you could help us, please. I feel like Missy would do it. I feel like Missy probably will be sad, but she knows it's the right thing to do. Oh, it's pride today. Hey, nice one. Baking, what else? Drinking, party spirit, and giving gifts is part of Pride. Well, this is fun. They get to age up on Pride Day. I'm just really sad that we have completely lost the blue cake. And why are so many things broken? Oh no, the blue cake was over here and someone already ate it. Damn it. Our butler really does suck, actually. <laughs> You know what, maybe we'll get Saturn up and she can, oh, bake some breadsticks for Pride and also cook a cake. Oh, she's gonna make her own birthday cake. I mean, it's okay, cause she, uh, I don't know, she loves cooking anyway, so she's probably more than happy to do that. And let's see our carob carrot cake and see how that's turned out. I don't know if I've ever actually seen a carob carrot cake before in the game. Oh, that actually looks so good. I wanna eat that. <laughs> Okay, before anyone does anything, I've taken that cake for myself. She's like, woohoo, pride. Can we give a gift? Just give a pride gift. Uh, instant hygiene. Okay, a focus potion, a confident potion. <gasps> we could give the gift of the Ambrosia, maybe. Maybe a confident, a sleep replacement. <laughs> I mean, like Darcia needs a sleep replacement. Maybe an arcology skill book because clearly we don't really need that i also want to make sure that nicholas doesn't go to school today because he's probably always keen to go to school but today is his birthday so he needs to take a day off in fact i'm gonna make sure everyone takes a vacation day it's like i've got something special for you if you're gonna be leaving soon i want you to have this it's like really thank you so much missy it's like i'll miss you darcia Oh, is there anything we can give back to Missy? A, a small pet poop? Wow, that's not very nice. We could give the gift back. Uh, probably not ideal. Maybe a limestone. Maybe she'll like gifting a limestone. And Saturn, breadsticks are done. Beautiful. Who doesn't love a little bit of breadstick? I also want to clean some of this up. Like, why doesn't the butler do anything? Seriously, the butler just sits there and watches us clean up. Oh my gosh. Yay! The blue cake is ready. Got to make sure that nobody takes any of the blue cake either. Just make sure that's in Saturn's inventory. And it's nice that she's freely roaming the house as an alien now. So I think what we'll do is maybe get some like balloons. We already have festive decorations here, but they're probably not really the right kind of decorations for the birthday. Well, we could have like rainbow lanterns for the party. That could be kind of cute. Maybe pop some blue balloons around because they are Saturn's favorite color. Oops. Yay. Oh, I just realized we still have Christmas decorations up that's kind of awkward <laughs> got those lanterns hanging over the table i think that looks pretty festive and then we'll get saturn to set the table with was the red casual i think hopefully this will match the rest of the table if we invite everyone over for a little bit of cake time 
Oh yeah, that's matching. Okay, let's invite over friends. Uh, all right, so let's, and oh, should we make Saturn throw the party? We'll do that. Plan a social event. And that way we can invite the alien that we met as well. We can invite Venus over. All right, so we wanna have a party. We wanna have a birthday party. Where's the birthday party? Birthday party, here we go. We don't need it to be a gold event. We can have two birthday sims and our guests are going to be, well, obviously everyone in the household. Oh, what? Why can't we invite our alien friends? That's so sad. Oh, can't even invite all of the orphans that we know. Oh well, Bloodlin will still be there. Oh my gosh, William can be the caterer. I love it. Maybe him. <laughs> maybe maybe he and Missy can actually get together once again. <laughs> maybe they, the love will be more passionate this time. And we're just gonna have it here at home. All right, everyone, it's party time. Everybody come join us. Oh, Missy's in her ball gown. She's ready to impress for sure. Da, 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 da. And we make so much money. It's so good. I love, look how sassy this is. Like Missy eating birthday cake before the birthday cake when she's not the birthday sim. It's actually the best. Hello! Oh, we better greet him. We better, um, we better, you know, be a little bit, compliment appearance. I was gonna say be a little bit flirty, but we should compliment his appearance. I mean, guys, maybe these two are perfect together. Maybe since he left his job, he probably left his job because he was like, I can't work here anymore and see you every day, Missy, if you don't want to be with me, it's too hard. But he agreed to come back to cook for the birthday. And she's like, well, maybe, maybe once the kids are gone, maybe be together once and for all. Also, where's our toddler? Uh-oh, Plum Blossom is eating a breadstick and is sad. Oops, I totally forgot about the baby. Arlo! Oh, look at Nicholas in his little outfit. He looks so cute. Doesn't he look adorable? He looks so excited too. He should wake up, um, <laughs> see ya. Oh, who's wearing the colorful outfit? Who's this? Oh, Beth, our good friend Beth, love that. And Fiona's here! Oh my gosh. Nicholas, tell Goofy story. This is so exciting. Oh, he's decided to give you some food before cleaning you. Oh my gosh. You know what? I might just cheat her needs up a little bit. Just cause, just a little sneaky sneaky. Just because you know how hard toddlers are to take care of. Don't hate me, you guys, for cheating. Uh, oh, and Saturn's in range to earn the good manners trait. Okay, well, let's do a little bit of birthday cake, everyone. I want to maybe Nicholas should age up first no we'll do saturn's birthday first actually let's get her to come out here okay it is birthday cake time add some candles beautiful and let's blow out candles and have saturn age up oh we can't the chair in the way okay let's try this again all right it's birthday time darcia definitely needs to be here celebrating too yay happy birthday saturn has aged up. She's a foodie. And what else should she be? I think she should age up being a little bit romantic because she wants to start a little alien family. <gasps> be so cute. Yay! So she is aged up. She's feeling pretty proud, pretty happy about that. I feel like Darcia should definitely come over here and congratulate her. Like, I'm so proud of you. Yay! Oh, these guys are gonna miss each other so much, but they'll be, I think they'll forever be really, really good friends. Let's just remove those candles. I don't even know why. Who put candles on this? I think the butler did. And then let's do Nicholas's can cake, candle cake. All right, little Nicholas, it is your go to age up and blow out the candles. How exciting! Little Nicholas is gonna age up. Missy, you need to you need to be here to celebrate. Everyone celebrate. She's like, where are you, Nicholas? Oh, Bloodalyn's here, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bloodalyn looks amazing. Bloodalyn, like, she aged up so crazy. All right, Nicholas, off you go. Woo! Oh, he, he didn't blow them out. He has to go again. <laughs> Yay! Nicholas aged up. So he is a little genius. So I feel like he should probably be a bit of a bookworm or even he could probably go into being a geek maybe. And his new aspiration, good at many things, nerd brain, book smart and handy. 
Actually, yeah, let's make him book smart and handy. So I'll put the books in there. Oh my gosh, he looks so different. Oh, wow. See, it's like, oh, not bad. <laughs> Oh, he looks gorgeous, doesn't he? Oh, wow, it's so weird seeing him without his little glasses. Oh, Nicholas, yay! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And and Nicholas and Bloodalyn always got along really well, right? So maybe we should thank Bloodalyn for coming. Imagine if Nicholas and Bloodalyn ended up together, but he's a little bit older. Wait, no, they're the same age, aren't they? They're both teens now. Aww. How sweet, I love this. And Missy, Missy's like, I'm too old for these parties. She's like, I'm just gonna go have a nap. I feel like Missy should definitely maybe give a gift. I know it's technically a pride gift, but maybe give him something like a focus potion for him to focus on his study. It's so weird seeing him like this. I feel like I want to give him his glasses back and make him look nerdy again before the next part. And then in the next part, I guess we've just gotta finish off Zia for her mischief and get her adopted, Nicholas adopted, Saturn moved out, and then of course bring Arlo back to life. So we might only have one more part of this orphanage challenge left, or maybe two parts, one or two but let me know what you want to happen in the comments down below so i can finish off this let's play in the best way possible so let me know i hope you guys are having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i can't wait to speak to y'all soon dag dag missy oh my gosh